Hi everybody, super quick video, just to answer the question someone had about the truck springs. They act like they weren't aware of uh, the things the microtrain makes to install on trucks to, to help get rid of that spring uh, caused bobbing. Here's the car in the video that people question. and You can clearly see that it's bobbing back and forth and that's caused by the springs and the couplers. It's a truck mounted coupler. Microtrains. This is a new Microtrains boxcar I just received, and it has body mounted couplers, and it's a whole lot better. The tank car, incidentally, I don't know the weights of these cars, I need to check that, but uh, it's not a light car, really. This is an Atherin boxcar with the McHenry couplers uh, that I've heard uh, good things about. They are a little bit bigger, um, but uh, obviously it's not bobbing. It's, it's doing a really nice job of moving sm smoothly. I like the wheels on these cars too. They're metal wheels. So here's the engine, the Atherin boxcar, who's tracking very nicely, and then the tank car behind it. So you can clearly see the difference between the tank car and the box car. It's usually more obvious when you're pulling the car, but I have seen it happen and it happened in the video when you're pushing the car too at slow speeds. The spring compresses and pushes the car away from the car it's coupled to faster and then it the car catches up and it just does that down the track. Next we're going to see the brief picture of the product that Microtrains makes. Hard to find though. So this is the spring that I'm talking about. I put one of the uh, truck pins beside it so you can see the size difference. Really, really small. Uh, Microtrain sells them. I think they come maybe 12 in a package or something like that. And they're designed to put on one axle uh, per car to increase the drag. So I've got the same car that we just watched and I'm going to put that spring on the axle and I'll show you how I do it and hopefully I won't drop it because <laughs> these things are impossible to find if you do. See, I know you can't see it. I've got the spring on the end of my tweezers. And so I would suggest doing this on linoleum. Uh, if you do it on carpet, you're never going to find it. Basically, you need to get the spring. Yep. They already dropped it. It's not something you want to do all the time, for sure. If this takes me, well, after trying twice <laughs> to film me putting these in um, and dropping them and having to search on the floor for them. If I decide that it's good, put it in. You have to take my word for it. It's in uh, this wheel. Don't know if you can see it or not. I'm trying to focus on it. But the purpose is supposed to reduce the drag. So I'm going to put this truck back on the car, put the same car back on the track behind the same engine at the same speed, and we're going to see if it makes any difference. Same engine, same piece of track, as controlled as I can make it. And there's definitely an improvement. Maybe not uh, perfect, but there's definitely an improvement in it.
when I was at the kitchen table uh, trying to put the spring in the truck and fumbling around, I said that the purpose then was to reduce drag. And I meant to say it was to increase drag. The purpose is to make the car harder to push or pull uh, so we'll overcome that uh, spring action. Anyhow, so obviously this topic deserves a lot more study. I do need to get a scale and check the weights of some of my cars, especially the older cars tend to be really light. I'm encouraged that the newer cars, uh, the microtrains, have body-mounted trucks or body-mounted couplers already, and they seem to be doing really well. Uh, but I am going to do some more research on it, but hopefully I want to keep this short. When I'm just running the layout by myself, I'm not, my eyes aren't six inches away from the cars. And it really doesn't bother me. But when it shows, when you videotape it and try to zoom in to show the detail and everything, yeah, it becomes pretty obvious. Uh, so I am going to try to gradually improve it. But if YouTube didn't exist and I wasn't filming this for other people to see, it really wouldn't bother me. So it's all up to you as to what uh, level of detail you want to to have. Uh, I enjoy switching whether the couplers are bobbing back and forth or not. So everybody, uh, I'm going to close now, try to keep it short. Everybody stay safe. 